everyone welcome back to space engineer sorry about the break in production there but um, things were kind of crazy with the save breaking then I was kind of busy it ended up using up one of the days I wanted to use for recording this game just getting things back up and running uh, it seems like they made these spotlights way brighter I was noticing that when I was like uh, it's like ridiculously bright now well that's probably good because it's always hard to see in this hangar anyway so I went ahead and got our oxygen stuff up and running again this room is not complete so this room can't be pressurized yet but I do want to go test pressurizing a room we have our oxygen generator here let's turn this off because it's ridiculous it's a washing out everything uh, so we have our oxygen generator here we have one completed tank three more or two more on this side that are under construction and then I'm making the space to put a couple more over here there's a gap up here where the vents gonna come in up and across the room and I kinda wanna paint that blue I don't know why, but oxygen stuff is going to be blue. Makes sense to me. So, uh, let's go ahead and deal with something I was dealing with, or I wanted to deal with real quick, which was, if I can get this door to work right. Let's get the light on, because it's all dark in this area. I want to put in one of these doors like I had mentioned previously. Can I... No, I just made it gray. Um the red we'll make it red I guess I haven't used this door yet so I want to see how it works I think I have everything I need in my inventory to make it work so we'll see there's a weld kind of over to the side here apparently this looks like it's gonna be a useful door I'm kind of excited to see how this thing functions and okay so let's watch the animation nice very nice and I can spin around in circles in here now, yay. So for areas that you're gonna be transitioning from space to the station, that seems like that's gonna be very useful. Although, let's try walking on it. It seems like there's a big bump. I guess there's just a little, little I don't know what. So I wonder if you could put two of those back to back. I bet you could, that would make enough room to stand. Yeah, that would make a compact little airlock We'll have to test that on a ship. I, I want to have a bigger airlock here just because it's how it's laid out, but we'll have to test that on a ship when we get to building larger ships. So, in the meantime, the first thing I want to do here is get rid of that because that's annoying me. Let's go ahead and go to the vents and make sure that all of the air vents are turned off. So that we don't pressurize rooms that we don't mean to and then open the doors and have everything blow out so the generator should be functional now and so we're gonna head over here and grab a little bit of ice I haven't docked that because it's just it's annoying docking right now um, ice so we have three points. I can't carry that much, but let's put the drill back because I don't really need to be carrying that around. I do. I always bring my welder and my grinder just in case. But go ahead and drop down here. Turn off my lights so it's not so ridiculous. I need to adjust the uh, the levels on some of these lights here. Like this area is really dark, but we'll adjust that at some point and let's just see what happens here. So it's generating. We should be putting it in that tank. Let's see if we can get into the control panel here. Um, tank. Oxygen tank three, I guess is what it's gonna be called. So it's about 10%. So a thousand of that does about 10% of one of those containers, it seems. I'm gonna go grab the rest of that that's in the storage. We'll leave, there's like 10,000 ice, I think, on that ship. I'm gonna leave that there for now. Wow, it is dark over here. Leave that on there for now just as a, a security backup measure, I think. Let's go grab. No, not a hundred. That's that silly of me. It's a hundred going to do. So we'll put one more in, and then I'm going to go upstairs and try pressurizing a room. I don't think that room's pressurizable yet either. Well, let me go to engineering. We'll, we'll use engineering as our uh, experimental pressurization room here. Light again, this is driving me crazy. It's all relaxed lighting in here. It's more what I want the base to be like. Alright, 
This is a pretty big room. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to pressurize. Where did I put the air vent in this room again? Right there. Okay, so that's going to be a problem. Let's go ahead and disable that door sensor too because that's going to cause issues right now. Ooh, what did I call this? Reactor room. Reactor room. Door sensor off. Reactor room door closed and vent where are you there you are on all right so it's pressurizing we have high oxygen and my helmet's off yay or is it yes it is i'm just wearing a little skull cap okay well that's nifty so we have functional atmosphere aboard the station now which is going to make life a lot better so go ahead and Go back into the vent and reactor vent. I'm back. I had my helmet off there. That wasn't good. Barely hurt me though. All right, so we got all this up and running now, and this room is depressurized, so it's safe to open this door. So what are we gonna do now? Let's go check out what's going on in here just to make sure that our air level. It should be around I don't know, 15, 20 percent. Uh, tank. Yeah, so it's at almost 20%. So, a thousand does do about 10% of one of those uh, tanks. That's good to know. So, I'll do the rest of this off screen. Probably just update you next time we load up the game on what's going on with that. And, not inertial dampers. There we go. Did I put that? It really feels like it's like upside down. It feels like there's a really big bump here when I walk through. And it's not upside down. I don't know. Let's hit that again. That's no, definitely the right way around. It's a pretty cool animation though. Alrighty, so let's turn on this light again. What do we need to do? I need to go get some iron because our iron supplies are in horrific shape really. Uh, I don't think I even have enough to make any steel plates to finish that room and those oxygen tanks and stuff. So I think I'll probably go and collect a bunch of iron and in fact I will. I'm gonna go mine some iron. I left this ship out and about. That's kind of convenient. I wonder if they fixed... I was having really weird issues with uh, sound effects for... I was crashed. I was having really weird issues for the sound effects for mining. So it'd be kind of interesting to see if those are fixed or not but I'm gonna go grab a bunch of metal here. I'm going to finish those oxygen tanks up in that room and then uh, when we come back we'll go ahead and work on something else so I'll be back in a little bit right away for you guys and so evidently not only have they not fixed um, the sound effect why can I not switch the can there we go uh, not only have they not fixed the sound effect but mining is just broken apparently right now which is really great because kind of limits what I can get done quite a bit because are we even actually collecting anything here I guess we are why am I still connected to an arc for what the heck is this um we're still connected to the base that's an interesting glitch so mining is working it's just automatically transporting all of this back to the base so I think I'm going to go dock this again because this smells of something that's going to cause horrific problems so uh, I I can't even imagine why do I have a main hangar or something up there too I must have turned on the labeling for something so yeah I think I'm gonna go dock this because that seems really strange uh, it's it's always interesting playing one of these early access pre-release alpha stage kind of games because it, it always it's just always something with them that's really strange yeah I should not be able to see any of that stuff so can I actually queue stuff up and per yeah I mean it's kind of convenient I guess <laughs> but it's not how it's supposed to work I wonder how much iron I actually I collected a lot of iron didn't I really yeah I mean not tons but I don't want to do that because A, it's kind of cheating, and B, I have a feeling that that's going to come back and haunt me. Um, I don't know why stuff like that 
breaks when they're doing this. Of course, I'm not a computer programmer, so I'm just speaking from a complete place of, well, not complete. I know a little bit about it, but a, a place of relative ignorance here when I say it just, it drives me crazy when they make a change that doesn't seem to have anything to do with what, you know, is broken. Like, in the, I had problems with the refineries not working. And it's like, I'm sure they're rebalancing some of that stuff. I don't read all the patch notes and stuff, but like the sound effects for mining haven't been working right for like two weeks now, I think. And, um, now it's just insane with whatever's happening here. I got a magical, I must've invented the Star Trek trans warp trans, whatever the hell JJ Abrams new transporter piece of crap thing that Scotty invented. But, uh, yeah, and I don't know how much I'm going to get done today again. I hate to post another, like, 10-minute update video to this series, but um, if it's going to be behaving erratically, I'll have to wait for a hot fix. I'm sure they'll probably push out a patch. They might have already, if I restart this game, pushed out a hot fix for this. They're usually very good about that. Uh, one thing I will definitely give uh, this, what is it, Keen Software... Uh, one thing I'll definitely give them is that they do an excellent job keeping things up to date. Like they they push out all, not only the bigger updates on Thursdays, but hot fixes and stuff usually come pretty quick too. The lighting is a lot more pleasant in here, though. except when I look over there. But at least nothing's exploded. Can I dock safely? I can't switch out of this camera angle. That's fantastic. Come on, serious? Why am I moving? Ugh, how did I bump that? Come on, man. Well, we gotta wrangle that under control because that's gonna cause all kinds of chaos if we don't stop this. Oh, that's something, I don't know, that looks like debris floating or something. Hopefully there's enough charge in this battery to stabilize the ship. Everything's turned off, isn't it? Oh, uh, there we go. Well, this is, am I gonna melt this ship if I, I can move the camera on this one. I don't, yeah, that melted that ship a little bit. Well, let's turn off the dampers and just give it a quick little nudge here. I don't think it melted anything but some of the armor on it, but it's like, just like, I just want to freaking change my camera angle and that stuff isn't even working right now. I don't understand. This game has been out for kind of a long time now and it seemed like problems like this weren't really happening. And now they seem to be happening kind of regularly uh, can I please use the, I can't even see if that's highlighted or not the light is so bright let's go ahead and turn everything off get out of that inspect the damage did we lose a cargo container god <sighs> it's gonna take a while to fix this this is, this is irritating me that like I mean I know that was my that's not even a, a glitch what just happened there that was just me melting the side of my ship off but I should not have had that problem. I was just trying to switch the camera angle and everything gets all glitchy. At least this is connected magically through some sort of magic to this so we didn't lose any cargo, but can I change cam- no, sure can't change camera angles. Huh. I did not put a camera on the back of this either. I wonder if I can't change camera angles because I'm still technically docked to the station. Just one friggin' problem after another. Okay, so we need to move over quite a bit to the left. Down. I'm never gonna be able to dock this if I can't change the camera angle. I... Left. Because I had to turn down the force on the... Wait, wait, I can... Okay, so I can turn... Oh, nope, can't do it. It's all screwed up. Insane. Well... I think what I'm gonna do is just not even try to dock this right now. We're just gonna leave it here, idling, and uh, not even gonna bother trying to dock that right now. I'll put a camera on the back if I have to. I don't know why it's flipping out so much, but just let it be. At least it looks like I only have to put a cargo container, like one small cargo container back in and some armor plates. But, uh, I think what I'll do how, how is the assembly stuff going that I ordered up while we were out and about? This is going okay. So, I guess what I'll do is finish building out this room. I just want to get it airtight and completed. And then, uh, 
I'm going to build the fuel tanks kind of one at a time and stuff. So I think I'm going to end it here for today. It's going to be another short episode today because I'm running into more horrific problems. I hope these aren't the kind of things that are going to be happening um, where my, sa my save just gradually gets corrupted or something like that. It kind of has that feeling right now and I'm really hoping that that's not the case. It's always rough playing these pre-release games, I know, but it's just so weird to me because everything was going very well with this game for so long and now everything is crap so at least it looks like i'm kind of wind up here let's see if we can get this done i mean the docking force is off so or not off but it's very low you pulled in because uh, the docking force was just insane and ripping everything apart so i turned it down it feels like we're right up against that why am i not does it still think I'm docked? Yeah, it does. It's still green. That's also great. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to do this that won't undock all these ships over here because I haven't changed them. Let's just break this down real quick. Just so it goes offline. And then will it still be docked? No, it's not docked. I might have fixed it. Yeah, they undocked. Can I now change the camera angle? Oh, look at that. That was, that was a, I'm pretty smart sometimes. Look at that. Right. It's not gonna really drag me in, so we'll call it good. I think I am going to quit before something terrible ends up happening today, because uh, it just feels like things are broken in an insane fashion right now, and I just wanna let things be, because I don't need to be replaying like an hour worth of progress, two hours worth of progress. So I'm going to just take my time and uh, this seems like a relatively low risk. Man, you go fast with those hydrogen thrusters. It seems like a relatively low risk thing just getting this up and running. So I'm going to work on this. When we come back next time, I think what I want to do is come out here, start working on extending this out. And I think I'm going to build a sick bay, a medical bay in this area. Because I, I want to get everything that's in that corner over there moved very soon so we can finish the hangar bay. Because all this crap's in the way. So we can get the medical bay out, get this hooked up to oxygen, and then it's going to be the a lot of work because I think I'm going to put my cargo upstairs, and we have that little ship to help mine out, but I don't think mining is working right right now, so I can't really clear out too much area. I was having, I thought it was just that they rebalanced hand mining. I was having trouble mining over there. It was acting weird, but it seems like mining. I don't know if that's it doesn't seem like it's how it's supposed to work, but. Uh, we need to extend this hallway down that way. Oh, we could try to pressurize this room. Hmm. I didn't realize I finished the wall, but uh, I think the cargo is going to be all... I'm trying to decide if I want it on that side or this side. So I'm going to make up my mind on that and work that out. And we can get our cargo up and running, and then we can work on getting that let rest of that hangar bay completed once we have permanent cargo and assembly facilities done so anyway this will probably end up actually being almost 20 minutes long now that i've rambled for so long sorry about that but uh i'm gonna get back to you i'm gonna go on the forums and see what's going on with this stuff too and try to figure it out if you have any idea what's going on with all this stuff like is it something wrong with my installation do i need to like copy my save and reinstall the game or is this something that will just get patched because um if you have any idea let me know and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.